So it's that time again, the end of the week. Time to charge up all the batteries in your equipment since your equipment lives by batteries. And as you can see, I don't have my rechargeables in here because I used up all my rechargeables and I even used up my spare rechargeables in my car and had to go grab a, a backup emergency pair. Uh, usually I have many of these with me. Uh, N Loop, which is by Panasonic, is uh, one of the best rechargeables you could get for you guys who are thinking of buying rechargeables and you don't want to buy cheap stuff like this. This is those uh, eBay and Amazon Ultra Fire and many other off brand names that don't last long and they don't have a high output. And this is what you would have inside your uh, anything you buy, like a, what are the name of the UV Beast flashlights right there. So these are cheap ones that I got. eBay stuff didn't last long and they wear out pretty fast. And for if you are going to buy, of course, Duracell and Energizer are always the best. And where the hell else? Oh. Here's the highest output batteries I've ever tested. Um, they're pure lithium batteries. These actually have real lithium in them that if you take them apart, it burns in water. That kind of lithium. Uh, not rechargeable. A ridiculously uh, expensive price. This is like $14. But these have been the last, longest lasting battery that I've ever used ever in my entire life. Um, what else? So everything's charging right now. Going to be putting stuff back in my vehicle. Um, oh, battery upgrades. I think I've shown this in one video before. Let's see right here. Open this up. Oh, I got to put it down. down. So you have the factory... Every manufacturer ships batteries with their product, and they're not the best batteries, but they, they last. I mean, these are, let's see, these are my ones from 2021, because I write the date on my batteries, so I know how long they last. They came with my UV Beast. So that's with these ones. These have not, they, uh, they wear out pretty fast, uh, fast compared to really good batteries. And uh, after this many years and being charged up a lot, they uh, lose their life expectancy. They're, they're going dead faster. I know they're at the end of their life. Coming back to these, I have two upgraded batteries in them. So this is what you would want if you were going to get a battery. Let me uh, open up this UV Beast and I'll show you. Now these are Panasonic batteries, but they're relabeled. And they put a circuit protector on the box. That's why they don't look like Panasonic batteries or, or Samsung batteries, I think it was. So I put my invoice. When I buy them from a manufacturer or somebody, I actually put the invoice number on them. I put the date so I could look them up so if they're still under warranty. But these batteries right here, I think these were these might have been the Samsung batteries. And they're like 3,000 milliamp hour batteries. Uh, 3200 is 3100. I can't remember exactly which one it is. But if you look at the very tip up here, you see a little dimple right there. There's actually a circuit board that has protection device in it. So it doesn't over discharge or doesn't overcharge and it doesn't damage the battery. So that's a feature that you have to look for. So uh, they last on. They're a little on the pricey side. So that was one manufacturer right there for that battery, for that flashlight. And then I think I have a different one manufactured here. But the one I was trying to get that they were out of when I bought them, and now it's too late. Oh, that's back to the UV Beast ones again. Put that out of the way. The ones I was looking for are 3400 milliamp by Samsung and or Panasonic. Uh, they're going to cost you about $21 to $24 just for two batteries. But they have 34 milli, uh, 3400. So now, see, this is a generic, but I believe this was also the Samsung or Panasonic. And this was from a private distributor that I bought them from. And, uh, and they just relabel them. They put the safety cap in here for uh, safety because most of these cells, when you buy, if you buy just plain cells, they have no safety on them. And um, so I, I get the ones with the safety. Sometimes your chargers won't take the other one. They'll be either too loose. It just depends on the chargers you get. That's it on batteries. You up, update your battery so you can get longer, uh, 
light time. You know, some of you guys won't use these often, but you guys who do air conditioning every day where you have five, six, 10, 20 jobs a day coming into your uh, shop, you'll definitely want good batteries and you'll definitely want multiple lights uh, with a lot of batteries. And that's about it battery wise. All right, guys, I will see you. Catch you on the next one. And always remember, always have backup for your refrigerant analyzers. Never rely on one. Always have two or even three. See you guys.